in the center of the wheel, you'll see this cap that covers all the lug nuts with a 22 millimeter socket. Let's remove all these caps that hold on to the lug nuts. <laughs> Now with the 22 millimeter socket as well, go ahead and take off all eight of your lug nuts and then we'll take the wheel off. At the top of the knuckle right here, you'll see where the 10 millimeter bolt attaches this bracket for the brake line. Take this off. I'm gonna get the ABS wire out of here just so I can freely move this bracket around squeeze on the top and on the bottom at the same time and that should allow you to pop this out there we go next from the back side you have two 18 millimeter bolts which are also your slider pins remove both of those leave this one in for now take the top one out take the caliper flip it up on top of the upper control arm now we can remove the pads if you need a pry bar to do this go ahead and use that Sometimes they get stuck. And now with a 21 millimeter socket, let's remove these two bolts that hold the bracket onto the knuckle. Leave this one in a little bit. Take the bracket off. And now you can take your rotor off. And with the rotor off, you can see right here, there is a five millimeter Allen bolt. This one's kind of rusty, so I'm gonna tap my socket in there. I'm gonna make sure I get a good grip on it. And let's try and break this free. There we go. Guess it wasn't very tight, it was just rusty. Go ahead and remove the bolt. Someone has secured the sensor with a wire tie over here. We have to cut this off to get the ABS sensor out of here. I'm gonna spray a little bit of rust penetrant around it. Hopefully that'll help break it free. And now with a pair of pliers, I'm just gonna gently twist it back and forth. Oh, I'm feeling it break free. That's a good sign. So I'm gonna grab my small pry bar some more rust penetrant. I'm gonna take a small pry bar and stick it underneath. Try to pry up at the same time as I twist. And that's what I was trying to avoid. Here's what I'm gonna try next. I'm gonna drive in this screw because I noticed the ABS sensor does want to move and I know it twisted. So I'm gonna drive this screw in. Hopefully this is gonna give me something to grip on. And I'm gonna attempt to pull it up this way before I have to start drilling things. There you have it. So here's what I did, put this screw in about a quarter of the way in. You don't want to put it in too much because then it just expands this plastic piece. There are locking pliers, yanked it right out. If this doesn't work, then it's really rusted in there and you're gonna have to drill it. But this will save you from worrying about shavings going into the wheel bearing. What I'm actually gonna do at this point is I'm gonna put this back in like this just to plug the hole. I'm gonna take a wire brush and clean off the uh, outside of this. I'm gonna take a little bit of silicone paste and put it up here where that little gasket is. Don't put it down by the sensor, but this is gonna help it slide in easier, but it's also gonna help the sensor come out next time if it has to be replaced. And I also noticed I had these two shims here when I took the sensor out, so I'm gonna put the remaining silicone paste on those so that they don't rust, hopefully. And I'm gonna put these down like that, whoops. Maybe I'll put them on the sensor first. And slide the sensor down. Make sure it presses in all the way. Thread the bolt in.
Make sure it's nice and snug. Don't go crazy tight on this. And let's route the new wire to where the old one was going. Over here, looks like we have a new uh, retainer. So let's pop this one out. <clears throat> if it doesn't want to come out, another option is to just open it up and reuse it. There we go. And up here, looks like there's another retainer. Let's see if I can get this one out. Oh yeah. Okay, so this one came out. Let's unplug it. Pop this off. And there's the old sensor. Slide the new one down into its uh, mounting hole for the retainer here. Plug it in. Make sure it clicks and it's secure. And re-secure it down onto the frame. Grab your bracket, line up the bolt holes, and start in the bolts. That way you can at least let go after you start in the first one. Okay, let's thread them on. Let's snug them up and then torque them to 221 foot-pounds. I put some red thread locker on these threads. If you're gonna put anything, put thread locker, not grease or any C's. And that's two. Grab your pads and slide them onto the caliper bracket. Make sure that they seat themselves properly, just like this. You should not need a lot of force to put them on. If you need a lot of force, it means the um, anti-rattle clips are not sitting flush. Now I'm gonna take my caliper, slide it over the pads, over the bracket, position it, make sure the boots are not getting pinched or crushed. I greased up the slider pins, and I'm gonna go ahead and push those in all the way. Torque these to 80 foot-pounds. Put this back onto the knuckle, start in the bolt. Uh, for me, this clip doesn't quite reach, so what I'm gonna do is Take it off and use a wire tie. I'm just gonna secure this wire like this. Make sure it's nice and tight and cut off the excess. Let's get the wheel back on. Start on all of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and then torque them to 140 foot pounds. Last but not least, don't forget about the cap that covers up your lug nuts. Slide this on, and it's best to thread this on by hand because these plastic caps can break and strip out easily. So just make them snug enough to hold this in place. You don't have to go crazy tight on these. Okay, take it for a road test.